The Division 2 has been announced and we know it's coming out within the next 10 months or so or at least before April 2019 and with E3 around the corner and you better be sure we're going to cover that I wanted to give you our wants and needs for the Division 2, our wish list. Also I want to see what you guys were thinking. I have created a poll a few days ago and I used you guys ideas in this video too. Thank you for that, let's take a look. Before starting, let's get a few things out of the way. I'm going to list a ton of features and mechanics, but before doing that, there's a few things that are pretty much a given. Massive Entertainment should fix bugs and anti-cheat. This means no more hackers in the dark zone if they have one, no more first aid bugs, no more chicken dancing, etc. These are basic needs for the game to function, so we're not talking about that. Let's move on to our list. To start the list off, I wanted to address the most important new feature first, or at least in my opinion that is, a new and expanded story with new mission design. The story of The Division was kind of boring, though there was a lot of rich backstory for a lot of the characters and the things that happened. This just didn't get the chance to be heard or seen, as the main story was simply go here, shoot these people, flip this switch and kill the boss. Of course there were different factions and enemies, but it was overall very basic and very boring. I want more interactive missions, of course shooting is the base of it and boss fights should still be there, but I want more interesting objectives, more story behind the characters etc etc. Also it would be nice if our characters, the protagonists of the game, had a freaking voice. It takes so much away from the immersion if they don't, so let's hope that's the case too. The third point I wanted to make in regards to the story is that it would be cool if you had a choice at the start where after the intro or something like that you had to pick a side, either the strategic homeland division or the rogues and for the rest of the story you can make choices for either side and that influences the story. Another feature which kind of hooks into the previous idea as well is that besides the missions, side missions and incursions to have bigger missions called raids or strikes. Raids would allow you to party up with teams bigger than a regular squad, maybe 8 to 10, even 16 people in one team, all taking down one big enemy. Just It just adds a different dynamic. Of course Destiny 2 is the first thing that comes to mind when saying such a thing, but instead of giant aliens you could have vehicles like the incursions, but stronger of course. An interactive world is high up on my list because Manhattan was a decently large world to traverse. But there was no real point to do it. Besides collecting some intel and doing some side mission, there was no point to go to a large part of the city and go through the houses and stuff. I can't really list anything on the top of my head, but I've seen quite a lot of features in other games that could make it interesting. Besides that, another region or city would be necessary. Maybe both urban, rural and forest areas for a diversity of landscape. Combine this with a great seasonal system, where the weather changes so we have a bit of everything. Some sun, some snow, rain, different temperatures. With the snowdrop engine this should be easy to implement. To make the progression and the end game more interesting, I think we should have more specialization in terms of the ability system. The skills, talents and perks are good. But quite basic, right? An ability tree based on the basic three main steps, DPS, toughness and skill power, would be awesome. From there you could have certain sub-specifications like healers within the skill power, or engineer or tank or more crowd controller in the toughness department. You could go wild with this stuff. Also, every skill and talent could maybe be upgraded multiple times, like the, f like the first one increases your healing with 5%, the second with 10% and so on and so on. The movement system in the division isn't that interesting. The cover system is awesome and you can climb on things, but that's about it. I want to be able to jump, to slide and slide into cover. I want to be able to crouch, crouch sprint and I want to be able to prone even. I'm not sure how this would work out because the jumping bunny rabbits are quite annoying as well. So maybe leave the jumping out and if everyone can prone in PvP that could make for some issues as well. But for PvP I generally like these ideas. 
Let's start with the PvE. The enemies are kind of boring to play against. This kind of fits in with the mission design idea. But I want more enemies like the hunter or the boss at the end of the Times Square power relay. Where you can only shoot his weak point. Things like that give more variety and require the player to play more strategic. Instead of just pumping a shit ton of bullets in one character. On the PvP side of things, I think it's a bit harder. I personally don't care too much for PvP in the division, but a lot of people do. And from what I've seen, there's a lot of chicken dancing and bugs that ruin the PvP side of things. Also, in Last Stand, you just have people running up to each other, shooting and throwing nades and chicken dancing to not get hit. Do this with 16 people together and it just looks kind of silly and it doesn't feel like a tactical cover based shooter. So what I heard Marco style suggesting is to make combat at range more effective and heals less effective. This way you can stay in cover, snipe or simply shoot someone from a range and you're already a threat. And without the instant burst healing, cover also has more meaning. To put it simply, the training system in the division sucks. Very often I would have acquired gear or weapons that my friends could have used and that I didn't need, but I couldn't give it to them because they weren't playing with me at the moment I got it. It's kind of, kind of silly, right? Also simply dropping it on the ground seems kind of weird too, so a system for that, even a hub maybe where you could just trade or sell your items, that would be nice. This kind of ties in with the previous, that the user interface or UI is very unclear and messy. It's hard to be organized and that's something that's very important in a game with this many items. It's a looter shooter. An addition to this could be certain areas or room in your base of operations where you could store weapons and gear, like a weapons locker room where you could see all your weapons hanging on the wall and next to that you have a room with all the different gear sets. Things like that would be awesome too. Gives you more storage too. To continue a bit on what I was just talking about, I think a better progression system for the base of operations would be cool. I love how we have rooms like a shooting range with a store above it where you can buy the weapons, or a comms room, but I want more of that, like the weapon and gear storage I was just talking about with a shooting range next to it that keeps track of your stats. Also make other rooms like medical station, comms rooms and other rooms more interactive because you can't do shit in there it's just a space to walk in see some people working but it just seems boring also through playing getting experience and earning money you should be able to upgrade the base of operations more maybe even get some defenses like turrets better armor and weapons for your guards and fortifications as you might have to defend your location against other factions these are just ideas that come to my mind and it's just me rambling about them but there's some serious potential here To get back to the character and it not being immersive, we really need more customizability. There's simply not enough. Not enough hairstyles, not enough faces. There's plenty of games that do this the right way, thinking of Skyrim, God Recon Wildlands and more. I think this could give your character a lot more personality and make that more fun to play. Finally, this is more of a side note than an actual feature that I want that would be cool, but it's absolutely not necessary. In E3 footage of the division, they showed a player hopping on his tablet and controlling a drone that could mark enemies and decrease their armor. This just seems like a lot of fun and maybe they could add this to your phone too. It just allows you to do and play division stuff without being on your PC or console. And that was actually it for our Division 2 wishlist. Of course, there's always more features, mechanics and new content that they could be adding, but I think we covered a lot of the good ideas. Also, thanks to you guys who have reacted to the poll. So, it's only logical for me to ask in this video too, what things, what features would you like to see in the Division 2? E3 2018 is near and like I mentioned at the start, I'll make sure to cover the Division 2 in the fullest once we know more. Me and What's Up are going to stream it to his TV, chill out a bit with some beers and make notes and keep track of the game. It's going to be awesome. Thank you guys for your support. I want to ask you to leave a rating, whatever you think this video deserves. And with that, I'm done. Peace out.